All right, welcome back. We're going to do another really quick synopsis here. And, and I tell you why control scans are so important. So I want you to watch this. Everybody, please take this advice because if you send me data like this, you're gonna get the exact same video. Take a look at this, all right? Let, let's, let's move on down the line. I'm going to open up some of these screens here. Let's start off here. We're gonna start off here with, um, let's see, this one here at the end is gonna be the 57. All right, and I'm using the last two digits of the file name. So if, you, if you're ever interested in how I come up with these numbers and you, you hear me, oh, what's a 57? What's a 14? What's a 39? Relax, it's okay. I'm, I'm just, all I'm doing is coming up at the end here and taking the last two numbers off of the file. I want to click here on the characteristics tab and see what this is. So now I have the characteristics tab. I have no project, I have no notes. Is this scan one of two? Is it in the same area? Is it this? I see I have 9.14 meters by 9.14 meters. That's it. I don't have any other information, none. I don't know if this is a control scan. Is this one of two? Is it in the same area? Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here to the next one. Okay, that was, I'm sorry, that was, uh, that was over here to number 13. Then I come over here to number 11. And let's go and do the same thing. And you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get exactly the same thing, except I have a different field length. This one is 9.45 meters here wide. So I come over here to the next one. And I come over here and I take a look at the next one. And guess what I have? Again, nothing. 9.14 meters by 9.14 meters. Excellent size. Cannot complain about the size. So let me come in here and take a look at the overview. As I'm coming in here, I could have a side view. I have the top view. The reason I have the top view is because the top view is going to show me where the scans are on best. And when I'm looking here, I'm looking here, right in the very corner, right on the very end. What happens is I come walking to the end and here's the end of my path. As I come, I stop, I look at it, I twist it, turn it, tilt it. I do something at the very end because I know I have a stop. Because of the stop, well, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get a stop. If you shake it, twist it, turn it, and that's exactly what I'm guessing here, you're gonna end up losing all of your other data because as I come in here into the side view, if you look over here, I have this huge strong signal. So let's go and clean up some of our scans. I'm gonna come in here to the side. I'm gonna come down to the bottom. I recommend this for every user. Move this here, move these. this one here, soil type surface to zero and soil type cross-section to zero. I'm gonna come into here, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Do you see this huge signal here at the end? It's right here on the very end. Can we bring that signal into the middle of the scan? Okay, because if that signal is in the middle of the scan, guess what we're gonna have? We're going to be able to see if it's a real target or if it's an error. So take a look at these here. You see how I've got these coming in here? I've got scan one, scan two, scan three, and from this direction, they all look the same. Let me check the next direction. I'm going to check the next direction and say, oh, well, two out of three are the same. Is this one a control scan? I don't know. And if it is a control scan, guess what's happening here? It's on the wrong side. So let me see if any filters were applied here. As I come in here, I want to see if there's any filters. Oh. Well, I have interpolation. Why are you interpolating the signal? So let's get rid of the interpolation and let's see what we come up with. And then let's get rid of this multi-sensor alignment. Let's get rid of all these signals. Perhaps now we'll come up with a better signal. Let's look from the top. And the top here says, okay. Um, out of all the signals that come in, one is just filtering out the other. Let's see, we have the same thing. You have implied interpolation. We don't need interpolation. Um, moving on here, the multi-sensor agreement. Uh, alignment, I guess we could keep. I guess I could always add that back here again because what it does, it takes that one strong signal and it reduces it. But the interpolation, get rid of it. A good scan will not require any interpolation 
subdivision or any filters whatsoever all right very important to keep in mind if you're doing your scans right you want to see everything when you apply the filters what you're doing is you're masking other items so we don't want to mask it now going back here looking at all three here do i have anything significant that i can look at well what is this here if i do this scan again and i do it correctly and please watch watch my body movement watch how i conduct the control scans in the okm video please watch it when i say it'll help you it'll help everybody i don't want to toot my own horn but looking at that scan the way it was done was done very well this is a good example to follow okay thank you i'm looking at this i don't have anything significant i cannot help you out on this i don't know anything about these scans um my best guess is because these are in the very corner here and because they're in the corner that means oh i'm coming to the very end of my my scan and it comes to a very common human response as i'm coming to the end i'm going to stop and boom you tilt the antenna and as soon as you tilt that antenna that's where you create your errors no tilting no turning no twisting that antenna must must stay vertical the whole time without any movement i implore you to keep that straight or you will make errors the equipment is good the equipment works but when the equipment is operated improperly you're going to get improper answers keep it straight keep it smooth this is frank join my patreon and um, i look forward to helping you out and assisting you further thank you